Hey guys, what's up? Pase Baller here. We are now on this May 27, 2022 NBA Game Day. Miami Heat going up against the Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. We are now on this game number 6 and it will start at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So that's 8.30 a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller, please. Click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, here we go. Um, again, the series, uh, we are now in game number six. Um, Boston Celtics is now up three games to two. Um, Boston Celtics, they do have the home court advantage on this game. Not only that, they got the, uh, the momentum, they got the confidence as they have just won game number five convincingly um, a couple of days back. Now let's take a look at the injury list for both teams. For Miami Heat, I see Tyler Hero and Gabe Vincent um, on day-to-day -day game time decision. So again, for Miami Heat, there are two names down here. They are on day-to-day -day game time decision. For Boston Celtics, um, we'll see. We got three names down here. Hauser is still out. Marcus Smart and Robert Williams. Uh, they are both listed as questionable. All right, so let's take a look at the spread. It opened up with minus 9 for the home team, Boston Celtics. As we speak, it is at minus 8.5. All right, this, you know, this uh, series has been crazy. Um... It's so hard to predict, especially considering the, the spread. Um, it's, it's, it's hard. It's, this is game number six, which is hard, man. We've seen how many, how many games uh, were in, you know, we're expecting one team to win and then the other, the other wins, right? Um, it's going to be too hard for... Uh, for any team to beat Miami Heat um, in double digits or, you know, in, in such uh, large points, especially this is a do-or-die situation. Uh, that's just my point. That's just what I'm holding on to. Uh, that's why I'm actually having a hard time uh, choosing between the plus 8.5 and the minus 8.5. Obviously, Boston Celtics, they are having a run of their life right here. They are looking great. They are looking sharp. And man, um, Tatum has actually proven that he is actually indeed uh, the face of this uh, franchise now. Um, but then again, remember, remember that day when you know when they actually looked bad, like bad, bad. Um, and they're up against Miami Heat. Miami Heat is you know is 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 not uh, um, a team which didn't even make it to the playoffs. Man, they actually ended with as number one going on to this you know going on to this game. So. What I'm trying to say is that anything can still happen. You know, I mean, obviously momentum is pointing towards Boston Celtics' side. Um, Boston Celtics have the crowd, obviously. So a lot of people will surely pick, uh, pick Boston Celtics, man, um, even though the spread is a bit high at uh, minus 8.5. But I'm going to be choosing Miami Heat this on, on, you know, on this particular matchup. I know Kyle Lowry is not really looking 100% well. Um, even even Butler, man, um, he actually scored and played well in game number one. But after that, you know, he he's like invisible. <laughs> um, Tyler Hero, he has been sidelined as well. Um, I'm expecting a lot on those names that I have mentioned. Um, I'm not sure if it'll also work if they would actually minimize the, the the minutes of Kyle Lowry. I guess I've said this before, and they actually did, and it and it worked. When if, if they would actually just minimize Kyle Lowry, don't force it. Lowry ain't down, you know, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, Lowry ain't actually in his groove. So instead of uh, giving Lowry his, you know, those minutes, maybe just give it to all the depot, to, to Struss or to Gabe Vincent, whoever it is, man. Those three are actually playing well. Kyle Lowry ain't. I mean, I, I, I don't hate Kyle, but, you know, those minutes are very, very important, man, especially if you're the point guard. So my pick on this one would be Miami Heat plus 8.5. Not really sure if they can actually survive this game number 6. I hope so. I love Miami, but I think um, the plus 8.5 is just going to be too much uh, for Boston Celtics to handle. My pick, Heat plus 8.5. Peace. Pass and love. God bless.